um, a common element of the squatter scam is you have that the squatter has to uh, artificially uh, create a dispute. You can't have a, there has to be conflict. There has to be dispute and and then yelling. They have to be something that you're not doing for them. So, uh, the, uh, so when you're providing everything, and then then they have to artificially create a, 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 a point of contention. So in this case, she kept saying she won the phone. So. I said, let's go get that phone. Uh, so what, then she said she can't get that uh, Obama phone, that the free phone that government provides, because she doesn't have a license. And then she kept on and said, you're not getting me the phone. You owe me a phone. You told me you'd get me a phone. You're not getting me a phone. So, and then, so then we worked out that we went to get it anyway. And that it was, and then that, and then discussion was, it was a misunderstanding. So we went to get it. And then they said it has to be the place that gives a phone without a license is um, uh, uh, that place starts with an M. So we when we went to that we we, we got the the SIM card. We were able to get a SIM card, but not the phone because she didn't have a. And then and it was because she would lose the phone repeatedly. Uh, prostituting. So she wanted the phone for the use of the purpose of prostituting. And then so for that purpose, that's why I was would be able to provide her phone, but I didn't want to use it for that purpose. I was allowing her to communicate through my phone. But then that wasn't enough. She wanted to say, you not providing me a phone. And the sponsor was pressuring me, why aren't you providing her a phone? And then so when we went to get it from that other place that would provide a phone without a license, she said, no, they're not giving it. You have to give 120. You owe me 120. You have to give me 100. And she kept repeating that over and over again. They have to keep pushing for something you're not providing her which she wants to do, she wants to insist on doing, perpetrating her own uh, compulsion to the prostitution, which I want, they didn't want her using my place for, uh, she wasn't, didn't want to do it over there, she wanted to go out into, into the streets at night and perform prostitution. I didn't want her doing that. And then she was forcing me to provide her a phone with which she could perpetrate that. And that was the unfairness that she was accusing me of. So it, it couldn't go through. They push you, back you into a corner to make you, and then the sponsor herself uh, was saying, sign up with IHSS, be my IHSS provider, and then just show up, take a picture in the beginning of the time you, you start the working and the end, and then uh, we'll split the income we got from IHSS. This is the sponsor of a person. So we need to check. And then another uh, incident happened when I was giving this sponsor ride home, as I was dropping her off, we were parked in front of her place. A cop, we were just talking before she uh, was going to the cop car pulled up next to me coming from the opposite direction, shined the light in my face and took a picture. So what's going on there? The cops are investigating her. So the, are the cops, so are, if the cops are investigating her, then maybe they're aware she's performing this scam and want to see who the latest um, target is. What's going on?